Sertitalia's reputation as a haven for Middle Eastern Orthodox Christians has made it a magnet for Syrian refugees. But beneath the hospitable air, Sertitalia is struggling to accommodate an estimated 1,000 Syrians who arrived in 2013. The mayor would like to remove the right of newcomers to choose where to live so that other towns can share the burden. We see the consequences, difficulties of getting jobs, uh, poverty, uh, more children that uh, can't uh, get a good education because you don't arrive here in uh, six years of age or not all of them. Many refugees at this memorial gathering live in cramped conditions with family and friends. With her three children and husband, Lena Avram fled Aleppo when the fighting became unbearable. To be a refugee is horrible, but compared with other people who are living in tents and in uh, very bad conditions and they're freezing to death and they don't have any food and uh, people dying, we have it very good here. Nowhere is the welcome better than in education. At this school, 98% of 800 pupils are from immigrant backgrounds. Only five indigenous Swedes remain, after parents of 24 ethnic Swedish 7th to 9th graders withdrew their children. There is a misbelief in the society today that foreigners or refugees is going to affect their kids, and that's not the case. It's almost the opposite. A school with a mixed combination of kids give the best results. All research shows that. So that's why the segregated society is very poor for everybody. Surdetelia is expecting to receive a further 2,000 Syrian refugees during the course of the coming year. And those numbers are going to automatically add to the unemployment rate of 14% in this region, which is twice the national average. To the indignation of right-wingers like Tommy Hansen, that means more generous welfare checks. Many uh, ethnic Swedes are feeling they are being betrayed by the government, I think. We can't afford to have an open-door policy because in the long run it will uh, uh, take more and more of the country's resources. With no end in sight to the one-way traffic, the government has promised extra cash to municipalities but it will not restrict refugees' freedom of movement, so the expansion of the town nicknamed Mesopotalia will continue. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Södertälje.